Anytime it might be lupus. Oh, it could be lupus. <laughs> We're gonna throw you in there. That's gonna be fine. Here, we'll already schedule a physical thing. Um, you got a fever, so we'll do that. Get started with things. It's gonna be okay. We should all ask the, all these guys for poop samples as well. Don't forget the giant waiting room for the emergency center. Uh, I mean, we have a fairly large waiting room over here for the emergency center. We might want to get more reception. That was always sort of the plan. Um, it looks like there's not there doesn't seem to be a line at reception. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this chair. Can I move you? Oh, move? Move any object. Click any object in the scene. Someone's using the chair? Not this one. Maybe someone's on their way to there. Oh, he's got celiac disease. All right. Controlled by doctor is going to be fine. You still have some symptoms. Um, diet modification. How come that's not an option? Oh, because it was already suggested. There we go. It's going to be fine. You're going to be okay. We didn't name you, rename you either. So that's why you're not getting any cool disease. Damn it. That chair is connected to reception. I mean, I realize that. But I mean, certainly I can still change it. Maybe I have to change it at night? Because what I want to do is open a second reception desk. I want to delete this and put another desk in. Man, yeah, maybe I'll just try at night. Maybe maybe people are are try are heading towards the chair. This is David Smith. Oh, he might have hepatitis. We just don't know what kind. Wow. Well, first of all, go ahead and start rehydrating yourself. That's important. Um, I guess we need to do a blood draw. I don't know about a urine analysis. I bet you that's not going to be required. <gasps> Incorrect diagnosis. You don't have a fracture, you have a hand contusion. Way to go, doctor. You put this person in an arm cast. They don't even have a broken hand. <laughs> they just have a really bad bruise or sprain. <laughs> oh, shit. That's good. Maybe it has another bench though. We'll just try at night. It'll be okay. Given that, we still need some profit over here at the surgery department, which mostly means we need more people to come in and get checked for surgerization. Uh, here's our prestige. Ah, today, yesterday, influence amount of patients arriving in your hospital, some insurance payments. Uh, radiology's not doing so well. I mean, we don't have a very big radiology department, so that might be a big part of it. Um, can we find out information? Like, radiology, how you doing? Why do you only have two and a half stars? But it partially may be because you don't have the fancier diagnostic rooms. That could be. CT room, MRI. I wonder if we can get them over here. Radiology. Okay, room. This is pretty big, but that kind of does make sense. Yeah, these are all huge. We might want to expand radiology upstairs. Be nice if these doors were at the end of the room for either one of them. What is the keg? Coronary angio. Hmm. I mean, you can technically walk through that. That is very expensive. Yeah, we don't have enough money for any of these. Okay, so never mind. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty good, actually. 
assign another janitor. Oh, maybe. Can't be hospitalized. Hospitalization in the general surgery department is not functioning or missing. Make sure to get it quick. The patient's ready to leave. You have pancreatitis. Well, you've been diagnosed with pancreatitis, but we're not sure. It's 50-50 over here. Um, do you have barium swallow? I don't know if that's important. Do some more diagnostics, and we'll see if we can double check this. Um, I'm going to cancel this diagnostic in case it turns out to be wrong. Um, but yeah, you need, uh, you want a place to hospitalize. We don't have enough money for that. Well, maybe I can build a small ward for this. Okay, for the general surgery department, it doesn't have a ward or a high dependency unit. And it doesn't have a proper operating room yet. Regular ward, four by four. Maybe we can just build it here. A big old ward for surgery, just ready to go. I like it. Um, hospital beds versus modern hospital. Oh, that's so much more expensive. Yeah, they're a lot more comfortable, but Jeebus. Let's just set up for three right now. Let's also uh, wall this in here. And we'll figure out a door in a second. Um, you also need, need bedside cabinets. Oh, okay. We need a defibrillator somewhere in here. I guess we'll just mount it on the wall since apparently that's okay. Uh, bed sockets, bed sockets can be attached. Oh, just a, a, a rack of, yeah, all right. Here, we'll get a bunch of those. We'll leave it at that for now. We'll throw uh, some doors on here. Boom. So at least we have a ward. Could do ICU. Oh, there. Observation is scheduled. Needs an observation room. Oh, is that not the same as a ward? Eh. We also need an on call room and stuff. Here's what I'm going to do. Meal tray, mobile equipment, rack. Sure, we can have a stretcher ready for you as well. That's going to be fine. And then over here, a little bit of an office for these guys. We'll be ready to have uh, room for two doctors in here. PC, PC, printer, printer. Um, and you need office chair, office chair, and... Um, Doctors could use a little bit of a lounging sort of setup or something. I don't know. Some books for them to read and things. And if we can get like just a little partitioning thing. No privacy screens. Well, something like that for the doctors. There you go. So one big room. That's sort of set up for this. I don't know. That's something. Um, and then you do need surgeons, anesthetologists, but you don't have like, um, we don't have the operating thing. We also don't have a diagnostic unit. Uh, we need someone with another surgery skill. Now we do have someone in here. There you go. I'm gonna set your workspace to here. Uh, I'm not sure that worked the way I wanted, but okay. Because these just have to be general medicine. Privacy screen for the doctors, rip the nurse. Well, the nurses will have to wash the patients. Watch the patients. Well, they'll also have to wash them. It's rural HSU and regular ward beds. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. 
much money do I have left? 20 grand. It's not too bad. You want a diagnostic unit. That seems like something we do need. Um, for surgery. We have a lab. Ward, high dependency. There's a diagnostic unit. Um, that's a little awkward. Because it blocks that hallway here, which I sort of wanted to keep open. I guess I can swing you on this side. It's not the world's greatest placement, though. Maybe we'll just build our own. Okay. Diagnostic unit. We can have it, like, take up this whole area, because why not? Wall. Wall. There. Okay. Exam tables, dialysis machine. Well, you need a lot of stuff. You could also potentially use a stretcher. I don't know if like it makes sense to have more than one exam table in the same room. Like, I, I wonder if that works. Like, if you can have multiple patients being checked out in the same room. Trash can. Put an equipment cabinet in there. You're okay. You would like a stretcher available, so um, that would be in the way if we put it there. I don't know where we're going to leave you. Put you there for now. That's going to have to do Medical light over the bed. That seems cool. Dialysis machine. Link to the... Oh, that's expensive! Can I sell you back for full money? Nope, not full money. Oh, dang. Uh, well, hell. Okay, we'll come back to you. Apparently you want an eye test somewhere in here. Sure. Mobile workstation. Uh, and then we're going to need some uh, a tabletop thing. There's the equipment table. Isn't there a better table? I guess the equipment tables are fine. Because they, can be, they can be dragged around. One, two. We'll put the audio meter on one of them. And the CRP machine on another. The crap machine. Okay. In theory, you are running. Diagnostic unit, done. And yeah, we don't have a regular ward. How's this not a regular ward? Not accessible for patients. Oh, because they're not allowed to walk through the staff room. Aha! So I guess I could just put a wall in between there. There. Now are you good? Regular ward, done. We don't have an operating room, and we don't have the a high dependency unit set up, but we're getting there. Okay. Can you be hospitalized now? ICU hospitalization. I mean, HDU, TC, trauma center, regular hospitalization. Oh, this is not available for emergency. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could just put you in the ICU room. It's going to be more expensive and annoying. You know what? Just do that for now. Oh my god, this is getting to be a crazy mess. Hepatitis A positive has been diagnosed. It's David Smith. Oh, we didn't name you. Oh, I'm sorry, David Smith. Um, rest, you're being rehydrated. So this is going to be that. We'll put you back on uh, doctor control at this point since we've mostly got this figured out. You still have some few other symptoms. Oh, William couldn't be treated here. He's being transported. Here, we'll do your analysis as well, just to double check things. But mostly you'll be okay. All right, now we got that. We got to we gotta track someone new. Someone who's interesting. Come on. Nail fungus? No. I want someone with lupus. Oh, damn it. There better be an achievement for that. For getting your first lupus case. Oh, look at all those stretchers wandering around. Who dis? Oh, that's William Cole, who's being transferred to another hospital. That's not positive. 
Uh, David Brooke, who's currently depressed. All right, let's keep an eye on you and we'll name you. Oh, achievement unlocked my turn. I wonder what that means. You're gonna be, oh, it's gonna be Banana Cabana. Cabana, who's coming here, feeling depressed. We're gonna take a look at you, see what we can do. Who else we got over here? Uh, all right, Nail Fungus Lady, Never mind. Banana Cabana, aren't you happy you don't have Nail Fungus? I mean, it's, it, it's easily treatable. But it's way less boring. Yeah, so this is our patient being transferred. Sure, we don't get our own uh, ambulance yet. Looks like this might be the ambulance zone over here. So I don't know. We'll have to figure that out when that's once that gets unlocked. Internal depart. Yeah, internal medicine. We just need some cash and we'll go upstairs. Uh, scheduled procedure. Oh, banana cabana. Yes. Depression, sleeping problems. Could be insomnia. Could be chronic fatigue. Um, we'll listen to you. You know, actually listening to the patients, that's crazy. You can treat depression with lupus and a safety light. <laughs> All right, banana cabana. Long reaction times, confusion. Another hint is the symptom. I mean, we'll, we'll give you the full, the full process. We'll poke around completely until we're 100% sure. Insomnia revealed. Yeah. Evaluation of all patients' recent symptoms indicates they suffer from insomnia. Uh-huh, sure. All right, well, we'll get that going on. And yeah, we'll, we'll give you some sleeping drugs, because sure. Um, and some antidepressants. So some sleeping drugs at first so that you can get, you know, a little bit of, of rest right away. That's short term. Long term, we got to treat your depression so you feel better. You're not staying up at night all anxious and things. That's going to be okay. Your confusion... Yeah, you'll be okay. We don't need to give you actual tranks. I mean, come on. You're gonna be fine. I have full faith in you. Go home, feel better. Watch some live streams. It always makes me feel good. So I'm in detected. Must be a gamer. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of that. So I'm expecting we'll get some rewards at midnight and then we'll build an elevator and go up. And then we've got to build a new department. Intensive care unit. Internal medicine, I'm thinking, might be next. Oh, we need a ward for the uh, the emergency department as well. We don't have one yet. Although that might be something else to build over here on the ground floor. We will see. We will see. Who's this that's just chilling around? Christopher Lopez. Oh. Not functioning or missing. <gasps> we might not have someone for night shift. Hold on. Um, surgery department. Night staff, yeah, yeah. We gotta go to the night shift button. Make sure we have a nurse, a nurse ratchet. Here, just focus on patient care, that's fine. And then a doctor. You don't need anything other than basic doctoring. So, yeah, just a resident is gonna be fine. You're pretty low skilled, although these people have 0%. Yeah, we'll grab you, that's gonna be okay. Night shift is good. Day shift is still missing people. We need people with different skills. We have lots of general surgery. We don't have like fancy surgery. We probably need a bigger on-call room for having all the, the skills covered as well. I'm betting. Well, what I could do in this room here is remove these bookshelves. Actually, I'll move you here. I'll put down another desk there. So another PC, another office chair. I think you're working. You won't, You don't need a printer, that's gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, we need, uh, we need a surgery nurse as well. Uh. So I think we'll have to hire the agency to cycle new candidates. Okay, we've got someone with an install, whatever, that can put people to sleep. That's done. We don't have, there's a different type of surgery symbol. It's like a green mask. Oh, we're spending all our money. There we go, operative surgery. Only 9%. We're gonna grab you anyway. That's gonna be good. And yeah, we're short on nurses. This nurse station is super not enough. I went way too small for it. So we're gonna need a bigger nursing station for the surgery department. I suppose we could have you over here. Just like a couple of, of nursing departments nearby. So build a bigger nursing station. Like 
like this. Um, use the same flooring idea with this thick red line. Like that. And make sure... One, two, three. Whoops. Good. Good. So we need one surgery nurse. Clinical nurse specialist, new. No. Gonna spend all our money. Oh yeah, we don't have enough money for headhunters anymore. Um, let me get you anyway. But yeah, we need a last. We need a surgery nurse. And I'm assuming that's a skill. Nurse surgery. Yeah, you're gonna need a skill um, to be able to do that. So we might just have to wait until it refreshes a bit more. And yeah, the elevator is going to be right here. We're going, we don't need walls. No, I think I like the, the open concept nursing stations here. Easy to get in and out with um, with the gurneys and whatever. Lots of different directions you can go in. I think that's very functional. If I played this game, I would OCD my computer placement so they never result in left-hand mouse placement. <laughs> yeah... General surgery, not functioning. I know, but I don't have... Oh, we got a bit more money. Okay. Refresh the list. Refresh the list again. I don't know how to get a surgery nurse. Okay. Well, tell you what. We'll get one more. So we at least completed... We've got three of three nurses at least. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient to, to get that operational. Open concept is corporate for you don't have to pay for walls. <laughs> yeah, you're being transported somewhere else. Oh, well, that'll be okay. We'll get there. It's fine. And yeah, we've got the little blinking lights here because hospitalization is still not working. Our day staff is missing someone critical. Um, and right now we're at negative money. So, you know, that's standard quill. Negative money. So we'll just, uh, I guess we're just going to let it run for a while. Can you train nurses? I don't know. You have a surgery nurse at the other station. Do I? Well, excuse me, not here. You think one of these might be a surgery nurse? Medical surgery, yes, indeed. So if we go and transfer you to a different department. Excellent. It's not quite done, why? Oh, cause you need, you need the HDU and the operating room for this hospitalization to be complete. Oh my God. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep working on a surgery. Okay, but thank you for catching that, that we're now okay there. So, but you're still missing stuff. All right, we got nothing to do but to run through the day. Hope we get a bunch of cash bonuses. Build an elevator, and we get our surgery department upstairs. What does the mass button next to the random button do? Oh, uh, when you're hiring staff, right here, this you can do this to reveal hidden perks. So some people, like Carol Jackson here, has two hidden perks, and we might want to know what they are while we're choosing our um, our staff. <sighs> Negative eight thousand money. Watch us just lose here. I'm just I'm still hoping for a big cash bonus at the end of the day from completing some of these other things. Breaking news, Quill is broke. Well, that's because we like spent like over $10,000 trying to get a surgery nurse. Turns out we already had one, which is good. There are some people working because there's a night shift. Although I don't think we have any patients in the hospital for the night shift, but technically we're getting ready for it. We still have lupus. There we go, 20 grand. Is that it? All right, so we're positive, but not enough to like build our next floor yet. Uh. <clears throat> and the hospital goes bankrupt. Well, I guess we could take out loans. I mean, a little loan never hurt anyone, right? So, add a new floor. Ooh, you want to add new floor to the hospital. Elevators will be extended. Copy tiles from the top floor, copy walls. Actually, that's kind of handy. Don't copy the walls. Build new floor. I copied all the flooring, which is a little bit chaotic, but sure. 
Um, that was weirdly free. I don't want more than one elevator. I'm gonna like get it ready ahead of time. Okay, and it automatically elevators to the next floor. That's good. We'll have to build some walls around there, but that's okay. Um, so I think I'll still work on this area being surgery. Maybe we should just wall up everything right now, at least on the outside. This is an overhang here. That's okay. We'll deal with that in the future. All right, so at least we're closed in. And we may have a third elevator later, depending on... The reason I decided to do an extra one is, like, one could be in use by patients and the doctors have to, like, move some people up to surgery or some damn thing. I don't know. Um, so, HDU and operating room. High dependency unit. So this is like just a ward for people who are like in more trouble. And then the actual operating room. Four by four. I think we want bigger. Do I want to? Like the prefabs are really pretty and they're convenient. But they are also like loaded with a ton of extra stuff. Uh, that makes them very expensive. Still. All right. I'm going to do this one. That's fine. We'll go. We'll go big. Go big or go home, right? It's got enough room for four people. It seems nicely future-proof. I like that. And then we need the actual operating room. Not general surgery. Operating room. I like it. Uh, except we don't have enough money for that. Because it's 25 grand. And, oh, we're super neutral and negative again. Ah. It's okay. Guys, let's just take out some loans. I mean, you know. Done. Bunch of loans. Loans never hurt anyone. Um, so big ol' operating room. Boom. Done. Awfully dark up here. Well, I guess it's still night. Okay, fast forward. <clears throat> Yay, loans, what could possibly go wrong? And no, we're just, it's just, um, it's just, we're leveraging things to be able to build money. We're going to make more money than we're going to be paying on interest. That's the way it goes. Okay, this super fast forward mode is not quite as super fast forwardy as it was before. It's actually about as fast as here, and I think it's because we actually have people around. They're just playing Minecraft and shit on their computers because they have no patience. They have nothing to do. Oh, things are really dirty. Oh my god, look how dirty the floors are. Uh, yeah, we need to hire another janitor. But those are by departments, right? Like... There's actually no janitors assigned to these closets for some reason. Um, let's get this inexpensive one, because you're not carpooling at least. Same thing here. So you're assigned there. So we have a janitor kicking around that's not assigned to a closet. I also don't know if they're actually going to do the entire hospital or not. Or if they just do their own department. But yeah, things are really messy. There are no night janitors? Oh. Oh. Actually, I just hired night janitors. There are no day janitors either. Early bird. And now everyone's got carpooling issues. But at least you're fast and you're a gamer. There. You're very expensive, but that's going to be okay. Wait, is that is this a bar? Why did we... Hire five st staff members with the alcoholic perk. Well, we didn't know they were alcoholics. Those were hidden perks. We have five alcoholics in the hospital, you guys. Now, luckily, at least, you know, at least one of them is just a janitor. <laughs> I don't know about the rest. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see if they actually go and do these hallways. Or if they just start to sit idle. Maybe we just overspent on janitors. I have no idea. One of these. Treated patients today. Untreated. Patient intake from insurance. Oh, I see. So 40 people are going to come in today. And we haven't treated or untreated any of them. Because we're not at that point yet. That's okay. 
We've got a little bit of money. I could go and continue to spend, but I'm hoping to wait. We have no emergencies going on anymore. We're green across the line there, which is good. Radiology is green across the way. Hospitalization um, for emergency is also green across the way because there's less of it required, which is good. Okay. Day shift, waiting for patients to come in. 